Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I make games, play games, and everything in between. And today we are checking out Monk Jing. This game came out in July 2018. And I don't remember if I saw this in the forums, Discord, or maybe the dude sent me a message. I don't even know. But I saw the game and I was like, I have to play this. It kind of reminds me of not necessarily Shinobi, but. I was thinking what Shredder, yeah, I think Shredder was who it reminded me of, except without the helmet. So, except this is a monk, Shredder's a bad, misunderstood guy uh, from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And yeah, so let's saw the graphics. I think this is a portal, so let's just jump into the game. Okay, once Monk Jing found an ancient manuscript with the exact path to the ancient doctrines of immortality. Everybody always wants to be immortal. Nobody wants to, like, be mortal. Uh, I guess that makes sense. I don't know. The manuscript has the ritual of opening the portal to an ancient mysterious city in which one can find this knowledge. Monk Jing opened the portal and went into the search of lost knowledge. No, 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 no. All right, let's jump into this. Okay, so we got left, right, and we got jump button, fire button. Oh, that's a five minute cooldown. <laughs> Yikes. And then we have a blue diamond button. Which nobody knows what that what it does. Cool parallax scrolling. Blossoms. No double jump, so I don't know how I would get up there. Oh yeah, oh shit, now he's swimming. That's cool. Watch out for the jellyfish. And I don't know if I was supposed to be hitting the button to swim or restart. I don't want to continue. Continue, it looks like they had a video, which is great. Just learned how to add a reward video with the Hazap mediation on Zach's videos, which is great. Okay, so I don't know what happened here. So I'm not pressing any buttons now. Oh, so it just makes me go deeper. And I guess now I'm deeper. Can I swim up? Nope. Okay, if this jellyfish kills me, I'm going to be pissed. Alright, so now the monk is swimming. And I'm assuming in this last city, oxygen is optional. Oh shit. Okay, so I think I got that down. Add after two deaths? Gotta get that money, I guess. Ooh, I wonder if I can go back. Nope. Cool bird. Oh, I was gonna try to touch the bird. Get a gem. I still don't know if I can use these gems. No, no, I can't. I don't know. I have no idea. Well, don't. Gotta be careful. So I'm assuming that blue gem I cannot get. And then here I fall. And then just keep moving. Because I think the other, yeah, see that has a wake up spawner. Seems like the path to go. Yeah, another portal. Oh, and there's a bird again. Is that the same bird? Okay, I'm gonna try to jump over this fire. Ah. Oh, I liked how he died. That was kind of cool. You see that? Okay. Kind of wish there was a checkpoint, but it was pretty fairly simple. Let's just go and do that again. I like his jumps. Slow it down. I have to wait for the little jellyfish. My brother got stung by a jellyfish once, and I had just used the bathroom, so I did not have the fortunate opportunity to pee on him, because that would have been a hilarious life story, and instead I have, I almost peed on my brother. Okay, so I'm going to try to jump over this, I think. Jump. Okay, I think I need that timer. I guess, I mean, I'll, I'll just have to go through all of it again and see what's up. I like the parallax scrolling, although it's a little bit weird, like with the moving up and down. Multiple levels too, you've got the city behind us. Right, 
go, 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 go. I like that the dude's swimming, running, jumping. He's he's pretty animated, fully animated, I would say. Okay, so here I'm just gonna wait. Thirty seconds. And, you know, I do think Buildbox is really great at making platform games. Platform games are fun to play, and there's a bunch of them, and we got 10 seconds left. Uh, I, oh, look at how this guy jumps. There's a lot of cool free animation software out there. Some of them are even $10 a month. Spriter is one. So yeah, check that check that out if that's something that interests you. Let's try to try this fireball. Okay, so I have no idea how to get past this. I'm gonna hit continue. Okay, so I'm just gonna go and jump in. Hope for the fuck. Continue again. Okay. Do I jump on top of the fire? Like, maybe I... Am I going? I, mean, I gotta be going this way. Jump! Just kills me every time. So I just added the continue button on one of my games, and I only have it once per game. This game seems like it's got it every single time, which is good, because you make more money that way. But I also don't even know how to beat the level. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Let's see if the portal has the ability to be used more than once, which I don't think this would have an effect. Okay, so yeah, I'm literally stuck on this game. I, I, don't, I don't know how to move forward. You've seen me try. I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyway, this is Monkey Jing. If you figure out how to get past that fire, I suspect by using the fire weapon that has a five minute cooldown, which is actually kind of cool to have a cooldown in a game like that. So I like that aspect of it. Difficulty level, I would say high, just because I don't know how to get continu continue past it. It's probably something super simple too. Yeah, anyway, this is Monkey Jing. Links down below. And if you have a game built by Buildbox, Please let me know. I would love to play it. Till then, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.